go to the beach for just a little because we're super sunburnt. Very sunburnt. And then we have a night plan. So we're going to see the sunset and go to a market. So it's more of a night kind of a day. Thank you to every single Malaysian that's left a comment on our page. We're going to use all your recommendations. A lot of the food ones, definitely. We already tried that Milo ice. Ian just said he wished he could stay here forever. That's how much he likes it. Ian, uh, you mouth words when I talk. Island vibes. <laughs> why do I mouth words? I don't know. You go, when I'm talking, and I'm like, why is he doing that? It's like making sure I say the right thing, you know? We're currently doing laundry today because this is our last day in Kota Kinabalu. We got the washer right here, and then outside, we got Anna hanging up the clothes right next to a KFC. So our stuff will smell like chicken. No, over here it won't. Yeah, over here it won't. Our Airbnb host told us. Big, big night. We are headed to Tanjang Aru, which is the beach we were at earlier today. We're gonna try and see the best sunset in the world. And after that, we're gonna head to the night market out here. So you can see it's raining a little bit, but I think we're, we're gonna take a chance on this one. I, I, I'm hoping for a good sunset. It is way more packed than earlier. People seriously come here only for the sunset. The sun just went down, we got a few shots of it, but it didn't really do it justice of what you've seen on Google Images and stuff at this place. I think it was just a little too cloudy tonight, but there's still a lot of people here. So many people. So now that we relaxed at Tanjong Aru Beach at the sunset, we are headed to the night market and we've heard a lot of mixed reviews. But we're excited, we're keeping an open mind and we know it'll be good. We're gonna make it fun guys. We're gonna try so many different foods. Let's do it. Grab just dropped this off and the city and we are right next to the waterfront which is really nice and I think this market's on the water and it's got walking directions on Google Maps. I think we have arrived at the night market. Check this out. It's dry seahorse. This is the food night market. Anna, Anna, those are chicken wings, right? No. People like to say hi to me. Hello, hello. Where are you from? America. Oh, have a good day. Sure, that's yes, price. Man. Yes, that's price, my friend. This price here. Uh, pizza cheaper price. price. Cheaper price. Cheaper price. <laughs> five dollars, five noodles. We have here, sir. We're looking for food. We're looking for the best price. The best, the best price. Best price. Best price. Uh, the best price. How many best sir. prices are there? Are you guys lying? The price. This one, uh, different, different price. There's a lot of hagglers around here for their food. Like this gentleman, he's yeah. the man. He's the saying best, best price. price. Somebody just came out of nowhere. They go. Don't worry, I'll give you the best price. <laughs> <laughs> everyone has it, we're, but we're gonna pick some food. We might go with him, I don't know. Yeah. Looks like everyone has the yeah. same type of stuff. Look at all this fish. Oh my gosh. How this much one. are those? This one, original price, 100 gram, 18, I give you 15, 100 gram. How much would one be? Ex this one, example. This one, three point one. Original price 35. I give you 30. Already cooked, no just cooked. I give you this one. 30 all right, all right. for that. That's a king crab. Yeah, king crab. So how much is that? This one, one kilo, 130. 30 RM. I give you 100. We we're just checking prices on the seafood, but now we might check prices on the meat too. Behind us is like all this chicken and beef. Look at this. My dad's dream, just filleting fish all day. But uh, I think I'm gonna go vegetarian. Okay. Is that a shark? Hello. Is that a shark? Yeah, shark. Small shark. Stingray. Stingray too? Anna just got blood on her because someone was shopping up a fish. It smells crazy in here. Oh my gosh. There's so many different fish and Kind of gross, to be honest. Lemon, key lime, this is where I like to be. I do eat meat, I do eat fish, but no one likes to see them being chopped up. We're gonna start off healthy here in the market. What's up? How you doing? 
We're gonna get some oranges for one ringgit for one Here, orange. I this for you. Huh? Thanks, Anna. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, this is definitely not a touristy market. This is actually a local market where Malaysian people come to shop and buy their produce. Pretty awesome. That orange is good. Next stop, Anna's mangoes. We're gonna do mangoes. I haven't had any since we've been in Asia yet. And like, they're so good, so I gotta get some. We're really liking this market so far. One, because it's really not too crowded, especially the produce area. And two, because we're able to buy stuff, not just to eat at the market, but we can take stuff home, which is really nice. This one's trying to escape. Escaping! He's escaping! Escaping! <laughs> this one! Ah, uh, da! 300 grams, sir. 300 grams? 300 grams. 15 grams. Already go. Just 15, that's it. 15. 15 ringgit. We're getting two squid right now with our guy. This one, the big squid. Big squid. Okay. Big squid. We're gonna have one grilled and one fried. It's gonna be good. We had our guy, he was very nice. He had even got the squid down to five ring it per kilo, per hundred kilo. What are you guys' names? Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. And what is it? Emma, Emma. Emma? Nice to meet you. They just offered us some chicken. But they're from Malaysia and they're very nice. Emma was talking about how East Malaysia, which is the part that's connected to Thailand, where like Kuala Lumpur is, East Malaysia has really, really expensive seafood, but where we are, Sabah and like Sarawak and Borneo has very cheap seafood. So oftentimes people from the East will come here and buy crates of seafood and ship it back, which is really interesting. Look at that. The fried is really good, but I'm excited for my grilled squid. We're squid people. We are squid people. It's our favorite. We're gonna get, we don't know what it's called. If you're Malaysian, let us know but yellow watermelon and a regular watermelon that we're used to eating and we're going to compare what they taste like. One and one. Pouring it. <laughs> She's shy, Anna. Thank you. Which tastes better? We'll let you know. We're going to try a blind taste test with Anna. She's going to close her eyes and she's going to tell me which one is what she's eating. Or if I can't tell the difference. Yeah. We'll see if it tastes the same, guys. Me, whichever one first. Don't say anything yet. Wait. They taste very similar. What was the number one? I think that was yellow. Was I right? You're wrong. Oh, really? Yes, you're wrong. This tasted more like watermelon at home. Like just really sweet. This was an unreal first experience at a Malaysian market here in Kota Kinabalu. We really had a lot of fun. I'm serious. I liked it a lot. I think it's cool that you can come for dinner or you can come to shop for your house. If you like this video, give us a like, comment down below what you think. And follow us on Instagram. Yes, follow us on Instagram. Anna kills the game. We both do. We'll see you in the next one. Woo.